And we are also joined by Nathan Schrader, the Associate Professor of Politics at New England College. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for staying up with us. Nathan, we appreciate it. Let's talk a little bit more about that, the recount of this attempted assassination. Uh, the former president saying it was so painful to recount he would only do it this one time. Speaking of the moment that he turned his head to view the chart, feeling something hit him, that room was silent as he spoke of this. So in that moment, what did that personal account mean in context of the entirety of this convention? Well, I think Donald Trump showcased a very different version of him, him his oratory self um, in, that, in the first 20 minutes or so. And then it quickly drifted off into the very typical expected Trump ramble, right? So I think what he did was unfortunately distracted the audience from his message, the very strong message about his encounter with the with the assassin's bullet, and he kind of frittered that away with this disjointed rambling 60 minutes in addition to that, which was very, it, it had no rhyme or reason, and it didn't connect to the first part of the speech. So if there's any audience members out there who actually made it through the whole speech, they would have been, as Steve said, almost like you're listening to two different speeches prepared at two different times with two different intended um, audiences. Now, Nathan, the former president also saying he would be president if elected again for the entire United States and is seeking to unite a divided country. His tone <laughs> sounding a bit different at the beginning. So does this mend fences with Republicans who may be reluctant to give him another chance and Democrats who may be looking for change? No, I think the general reaction to the speech, and I was following along on X and Facebook and things, and just from my personal observations of it, it was just a, it, it was not the kind of speech that would actually help move the needle for Trump in terms of reaching out to Democrats or independents or even some of the disaffected Republicans who were part of what we call the never Trump movement, right? Because even though he claimed at several points in the speech that he was trying to unite the country and bring the country together and speak for the whole country or to the whole country, it contained the similar Trump dog whistles, right? The illegal immigrant invasion. He talked about how you have Hispanics coming across the border to steal jobs held by African-Americans, intended to divide rather than unite. So even though his stated purpose at several points in the speech was about unifying the country, at the end of the day, this was very much a, a very, it was a speech that was more about division than about unity. And, and that's just who he is. And we've learned over the years, Donald Trump is not going to change. And, and that was really what I was looking for coming into this. Is this a new diff a Donald Trump? Is this a changed Donald Trump? Or is this the same divider Donald Trump? And this was the divider in chief Donald Trump doing his playing the greatest hits after the first 20 minutes of a, of a, of a moving speech that was frittered away in the, the second two-thirds of the speech. Appreciate the analysis. Nathan Schrader from New England College, thank you for spending some time with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.